Hello and welcome to the introductory video of kernel for OS2 PST software. In this video, you can find out the best way to fix OST corruption issues and the best approach you can opt to migrate the data flawlessly from OS2 PST format and other targeted platforms. The video provides a brief overview of the key features and functionalities of the tool. However, unfortunately, unlike other files, these OST files are vulnerable to corruption as well and hence users often get to face inaccessibility issues while working with OST files. Kernel for OST to PST is a brilliant tool programmed with advanced algorithm to deal with almost all the critical issues of OST file corruption. Indeed, it is a multipurpose utility that not only repairs OST file corruption but also facilitate users to save the recovered items in various file formats like PST, DBX, MBOX, MSG, EML, etc. and other destinations like Office 365, email servers, and webmail without depending upon any additional application. Focusing towards the solution part, let us take a tour of kernel for OS2 PST software interface. As soon as you launch the software after installation, the source file selection page will appear. Browse the location of corrupt OST file by choosing either convert single file option or convert multiple file option as per the requirements. If you are not aware about your OST file location, use the search option to locate the OST file. Select the drive and click search. Once the OST file is enlisted, click finish and the tool will display a complete list of repaired items in a tree-like presentation. The recovered items will get enlisted in the left pane. One can have a detailed preview of recovered items by clicking on respective items. This tool provides simple view and advanced properties view options to have a clear view of the retrieved items. Another important thing we have here in this tool is the snapshot facility. Save snapshot and load snapshot buttons are available in the toolbar. Click on the save snapshot option to capture and save the snapshot of the repaired OST file to any desired location. Load snapshot option can be handy to load an already saved snapshot from specified location. Kernel for Outlook OST to PST also provides four types of graphical reports that help in analyzing item types, mail flow density, and interaction between users. To view the reports, click on the required report options available at the bottom of the task pane. Select the items in the folder tree and click Analyze. Within a few seconds, a window appears providing detailed generated reports in the form of bar graphs. After retrieving the data from inaccessible OST files, one can save the recovered OST file data in PST, DBX or MBOX file format. The software also allows to save recovered individual email items in various formats. Select the suitable file format for saving the recovered OST file data and click Next. As the Select Filters dialog box appears, define the filters to save specific data. The tool provides various fields for filtration like from, to, subject, folder name, item type and date range. Select the desired filter options and click Next. The Manage Recovered PST dialog box appears providing you with the facility to split the large sized PST file using the various split options. To split the large size PST files, use the available split options. To attach a prefix to a store name, enable attach prefix to a store name option and provide the required prefix in the store name prefix text box. Now click next. Select destination path dialog box will appear now. Provide the desired location to save the recovered data and click OK. However, make sure to select the checkbox, exclude deleted items while saving, to exclude saving deleted items from repaired OST to output PST file format. Click finish and the recovered items will be saved at the defined location. Kernel for OST to PST supports all versions of Microsoft Outlook, Outlook Express, Windows operating systems, Windows servers, and the Microsoft Exchange server. If you are analyzing the trial version of the tool, then you will be able to save only 25 items from each folder. You may purchase the licensed version of this tool in order to work without limitations. For details, visit our website now. Thank you for watching this video.